What is up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Cam, and I am back with another video. Today, I'm coming at you with my war binder, and I'm going to be setting up my daily prayer pages for the week of September 25th. I cannot believe we are rolling into the last week of September, y'all. It's like once the summer is over, like the year just flies by. So if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome, welcome. My name is Cam. This is Peace of the Plans. I do hope you find something here that inspires you. If you do, go ahead and click that subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell as well. If you're already a part of the fam, thank you so much for coming back. If you want to see what I'll be using this week in my daily prayer pages, just stay right there. Okay, so this week I am going to use the oh so lovely Chic Fall sticker book from Live Love Posh. Y'all already know how I feel about fall. So I'm going to use these stickers here, this beautiful neutral vibe sticker set. I'm going to use this sheet and hopefully just one sheet of the florals. That's what I'm going to try to do because I want to use these stickers in another spread. So ugh, I feel, feel kind of weird about saying I'm just going to use these two pages because y'all know how I like to decorate, but we're going to try it. And I have pulled, um, just shopping my stash, I have pulled out dolls that I thought would match this vibe as well. So I've got dolls from all over. So here we go. This one was given to me by my planner bestie Larissa. Hey Larissa! In one of our Christmas exchanges, her shirt says Prayer Warrior. So I thought that would be great to start this week off with her because that's what this whole section is about. It's about prayer. So we have her. And then I've got this one doll left on this sheet from Stick With Katie. And she's got that vibe too, that neutral vibe. Then we've got this sticker set from Goldmine and Coco. And she's got the vibe. And this one was a little bit of a stretch, but she, I mean, she does have the colors, but then she's got some more colors added in, but I think it'll be fine. This is also from Gold Mine and Coco. Her name is Yvette. The last girl was named Erin. Uh, and before this was Destiny. And this girl's Prayer Warrior. <laughs> That's what we're going to call her. Okay, I don't know if these dolls are still available. Like I've been saying, um, I'm shopping my stash. So I will link the shops, but there's no guarantee that these particular dolls will be available. But they do have lots of... Um, beautiful planner products for you to choose from. So that's Yvette. We're going to kind of, <laughs> we're going to make it go. Okay. We're going to make it go because <laughs> she's got the top and the bottom. It's just this strap on her shoulder that's a little off, but we're going to, we're going to, we're going to squint and turn our head to the left and not look at that little strap. Okay. And then next we have um, Emerald B. This is from Goldmine and Coco as well. And she matches the vibe, that brown especially. And then this is another uh, set from my planner bestie, Larissa. I thought that this girl right here would go nice with the vibe. And uh, then we've got these two girls are from, no, this girl is from Isis Ella Jules. Let me give her her own time. Isis Ella Jules, move in silence. And just because she has that gray shirt on and the brown bag, she goes. And then this girl is from uh, Red Lyrics. Red Lyrics. And she goes with the gray and that kind of camel color. Now, let's talk about Alyssa. Alyssa is one of my favorite dolls all time, hands down period from any shop ever anywhere on planet earth <laughs> did i make that clear enough <laughs> 
Y'all, I love this doll. And this is my last one. Well, I'll have this little mini one. I'm gonna use this big one and then I'll have this last little mini one left. I'm shopping my stash. I'm using the things. I'm not hoarding. I'm putting them in my planner and in my journal. So Alyssa, it's been it's been nice knowing you and holding on to you, but now you have to do your part and join us in this prayer journal girl. All right, so now that we've got all of that emotional stuff out of the way, <laughs> let's get to the uh, setup. So like I did last week, I've gone ahead and set up the washi and the days of the week prior to turning on this camera because it just saves me a lot of time, y'all. And um, that's what we're about, right? Saving time, saving energy, and getting down to business. So let's start with a, a uh, floral piece that will go well with our doll here. Got my scissors at the ready over here. I'm just gonna cut this in half. I'm gonna put half of it on this first page. Now, in this setup, um, these are Happy Planner daily pages. And I have set this up so that I have a section called This Week. It's the very first page of my um, spreads. And this is where I come in and write down prayer requests, um, important items that I want to remember and get done for the week. At some point during the week, I wanna get these things done. So that's what this first page is. My This Week page, like a weekly overview. And that's been, that has been working out pretty well for me. So far, so good. Let me take a look at the neutral boxes that I want to pull in as well. I forgot to mention that. I think this color will work. Maybe something a little more gray. See, this color in here is so tricky. It's not quite gray and it's not quite brown. I think though, for my purposes, I think I'm gonna go with the darkest brown, which is gonna be in this brown sticker book. Okay. Now, let's go in with a large box right here at the bottom. And then to this, we're gonna add a little bit of deco. So let's see, how do we wanna kick off the week? I love this coffee. I don't know, but I always feel like coffee symbolizes um, kind of getting started for the week, kind of getting things going. So I think we'll go with that. And I think I'll put a little bit of the floral on either side of this coffee. Okay, yes, I love that. And let me do Monday and then I'll come back and see if I wanna add anything else. So for Monday, we're gonna add this girl from Stick With Katie. Her name is Destiny. Check um, down in the description box for all the shops that I'm using so that you can support them. There's a little bit of the words showing over her shoulder but that really does not bother me i actually i actually think it looks cute so i'm not going to worry about that i'm going to leave it just as it is then i'm going to grab 
some more boxes. I think I'll go in with three boxes at the bottom section of this page. And let's see what I want to add here. So much cuteness. I think I will add this flower. And this candle. Okay, and let's grab a little bit of florals. And let's use this one. I think this is super cute. And I will again just cut this in half and use a little bit of it on the right and a little bit on the left. This way we get more bang for our sticker buck. Ooh, yes, I'm loving that. Love, 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 love. All right, let's go on to uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. All right, for that day, I have got these two girls and I think I wanna use this floral here for Tuesday and this one for Wednesday. Okay, fit her there and her name was Erin. So we're going to put Aaron there and then we're going to put um, Yvette. On every page. I think I'm going to try to slide Yvette up just a little bit. Ooh, I don't know if she'll come up though. Because Goldmine and Coco is one of those stickers that once you put it down, it doesn't really love oop, love to come up but let's just let's just try it I'm trying to be very gentle okay and let me just go up as close to the top of the page as I can there we go small change but I like it all right and then I will add one long box over here on the left. And then let's grab a nice size piece of deco that can go down here. Uh, what do I want to use? I'm kind of feeling this piece. Yeah, I think I like that. And maybe one more box. Love that. And let's do a large box on the right hand side. And let's find another piece of deco that we can use. Let's see, which one do I like? I 
think I like the sweet cinnamon candle right here. And I think I will add a little bit of the florals on the side. I'm just doing that because there's this little gray line there, the top of that box, the top of the original box that's on this page, and I don't really want to see it. <laughs> I don't want to see it, so I'm going to cover it up. It's not a huge deal, but I'm just going to cover it. Okay. And then I think I'll hold on to this little piece in case I need it later. And I think this time I will bring in this floral. And put it on, oh boy, let's put it on this side. And then I'll take this leaf and trim it. And put it on the left side. And Raise the rest of that leaf down here at the bottom of the page. All right, I think I feel good about that. I can always come back and add more deco if I have some left at the end, but for now I wanna kinda go a little bit on the sparingly side. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to Thursday and Friday. All right, so for Thursday and Friday, I'm going to use this flower set here snip it in half and use this as the backdrop for the dolls okay and the two dolls are coming up are these two girls here so Let's go with this doll is from um, BU Beautiful One Plans. That's my planner, Bestie Larissa. Oops, let me pull that up. I don't want her head to go off the page. Let me be gentle. And pull her down just a tiny bit. Okay, and then on Friday, we'll go with um, Emerald from Goldmine and Coco. And I think I wanna switch things up and put Emerald at the bottom of the page instead of at the top. So let's grab a box. And then I'm going to use this just to grab this little piece off of it. I just want to cut this. And then here I will add 
a little bit more of the Live Love Posh Deco. Let's see which one I'm gonna go with. Grab this box first. Into a blind box. Let's do a book here. And maybe we'll do the pillows. Yeah, I actually think that's cute by itself. Maybe I'll add this one little flower. <laughs> yeah, just a little something else. Okay, that's good. And I think I'll grab this leaf and split it up. Do half on this side and half of it on this side. And I feel like I need something else down here in this corner. I do have this little candle. that is good all right so that looks good to me so let's move on to saturday and sunday okay for saturday and sunday we'll use this large flower cut it in half spread it, use it over both pages. And we'll go Saturday. And Sunday. This dog came from Isis Ella Jewels, this one from Red Lyric. And let me add my boxes. All right, now on this page, I'm going to add two boxes. Horizontal, Lee. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to add two of the same size boxes, but I'm going to lay them down vertically and just see what we get here. Okay. I want to use this sticker. Here, I think I'll use this sticker, the vase with the flowers in it on this side. I think I'll put this candle on the page as well. That's cute. And then I think I'll grab this flower and split it. So we can use it on both pages. Let's just see where I want it to go. I think I kind of want to split this sticker. And use half of it here and the other half on the next page for my sermon notes. 
I don't know what it is about me wanting something in this little corner. <laughs> I don't know why I always want that. But okay, this looks good to me. I'm going to grab this little tiny piece and just put it up here at the top. And maybe these glasses. Okay, then we're gonna go on to sermon notes. Okay, now let's grab this piece. And I'm going to lay it down vertically <sighs> because my favorite doll of all time is going next to it and she just needs something special right she just needs something special <sighs> love it love it love it okay then i'm going to these stickers and I think I'm going to cut these flowers off oh wait do I want to do that instead of just using it all the way across the top I think that's what I'll do I think I'll leave it as it is before I destroy it and just lay it across the top of this page. So these are my sermon notes and I don't need like two title pages. So that's why I don't mind covering this section up almost completely because I don't need two sections for titles like headers. I'm going to grab my large box. I'm going to put this large box down here at the bottom and a couple smaller boxes on the bottom of the left hand side. Okay, let's see if I can finish this spread without pulling out another sheet of this deco. <laughs> OMG, I do not want to pull out another sheet of deco. I just want to use what I have. Um, hmm. I hate that I'm stuck with this like Romeo and Juliet stuff though for Sunday. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Um, I think I want to switch something around if it will pull up. This looks kind of more like a Bible to me. Please come up, please be nice. I don't wanna have to grab my undo if I don't have to. It's actually coming up pretty nice. Let's just keep the good vibes going. Okay. I'll switch that out with this and really I could just cut just the book stack out just the book stack Okay, that works for me. Let's 
go back to where we were <laughs> on the sermon notes and I want to add this book that kind of looks like a Bible right there and I think I'll take this image and just cut it in half and use it on this side we can toss that it's just a little scrap And I think I will use this piece and just, I don't want the um, Romeo and Juliet and all of that. I'm just gonna cut this, that little top book off. Perfect, perfect. Okay, and that sheet of deco is completely used up, so we can trash that. And let me go back to my flowers, and I just have this one little kind of sprig of flowers right here and one leaf left. And I wanna go ahead and use both of those if I can. So let's put The leaf right here. And let's put another part of the leaf like right in here. Let me see what I can do with this little sprig. This is one of those sets that is just so pretty. I just want to use all of it. <laughs> like even this last little, even this last little snippet, I just want to use it. This is so pretty. Okay. And pull this leaf up because I want to use this little sprig that I cut down at the bottom. And I have one more little sprig That I want to use on this side. Let me cut it a little bit more flush. Okay, now I have this little empty space here. that I just feel like it needs to be covered up. And I think that is perfect. Okay, so those two sticker sheets were the only ones I used for this setup. Um, the only deco and they are done completely. And I still have two sheets left in the sticker book Yay! that I can use in another and another spread. So let's take a quick look. I also have some doll sheets that I have completed this one, this one, this one. one I have a few more dolls that I can use in upcoming spreads so let's just take a quick look um, at the entire week all together just do a little quick flip through all right so here we are with my this week section 
and the Monday, and I think it looks so beautiful. I think it has just the right amount of deco, not too much, not too little, plenty of space to write. This is the Tuesday and Wednesday. Lots of beautiful deco. Thursday and Friday, looking good. Saturday and Sunday, beautiful, beautiful. And then Sermon Notes. And Alyssa is making her final appearance. <laughs> making her final appearance in my planner. So I want to thank you so much for joining me for this video. That's going to do it for me for this week of uh, prayer daily pages in my war binder. I am so grateful that you have joined me for this video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope that you are finding ways to journal uh, and document your prayers and document your time spent with God. Um, I almost look at it as a, a document that we're leaving for ourselves to encourage us and also leaving behind when we're gone. Like people are going to go through our papers and go through our planners and read them. And are we leaving the testimony behind of our prayers and of what God has done for us? and what we are expecting God to do for us in the future. So that's another good way to look at um, these journals, almost like scrapbooks without the photos. It's more of your documentation of your, your prayers, your faith, and sharing your faith um, with others and also encouraging yourself at the same time. So I hope that you are spending some time uh, documenting your prayers and documenting your time spent with God, whether it's for Bible study, scripture writing, um, just daily journaling. And I hope that is going well for you and that you'll um, just enjoy that time spent with the Lord each day or as often as you can. All right. So I hope you have a great week. I hope that your week is full of love, joy, and most of all, peace. See you next time.